Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. Thanks so much for joining me today. We're gonna to talk about 10 things that you can do to give your business a boost in 2022. The fact that that all rhymed was pretty epic. So let's get stuck in. If you're new here, then hi, I'm Jess. I run this YouTube channel. I also run other businesses. And yeah, basically, as we're all sat here waiting for Business Bootcamp Unit 5 to be released, I felt like we might as well just sort of throw some stuff out into the YouTube world that's about basically giving your business a boost in 2022. January is in most niches, pretty crap. So it's a great time to really look at your business and see what you can do to give it a bit of a boost. And so these 10 things today, hopefully it will help you do that. So if you want to subscribe, then that'll be awesome. It'd be amazing to see you here again. But if you don't want to, then that's also cool. You know, no hard feelings, nice people only. Everybody else need not apply. Okay, let's kick things off with tip number one, business boost number one. And basically this is, I'm gonna need an analogy for this. So I'm going to grab some props. I use this analogy all of the time in all sorts of different businesses, not just photography businesses and basically because it works and it's relevant. So I want you to think of your business for 2022 as a bucket. Now, because buckets are large and I can't do that in here, I'm gonna use these little tubs, okay? So think of this as your entire business. Everything to do with your business is related to the bucket, in this case, the tub. Now, if you have a existing business or maybe it's a brand new business, have you inspected your bucket at the start of the year? Have you actually looked at your business and checked to see if it's going to run well? Is it gonna be safe and sound? Are we gonna be doing the best we can be doing? And if not, then basically your bucket has holes in it. If you have not checked to see if your pricing is good, relevant and sustainable, then you're making holes in your bucket. If you do not have a good customer relationship strategy, good communication, then that's another hole in your bucket. If you have not checked to see if your social media profiles are linking to everything in the way that they should do, then there's a hole in your bucket. And if your sales process is not maximizing the returns for each and every client you do manage to collect inside your bucket, then you're making holes in it. And so all of these little tiny things, if your brand is not on point, <laughs> I'm gonna like cut my hand off in a minute. Do not try this at home. If your brand is not on point, that's another hole in your bucket. If you are confusing your customer somewhere, then that's another hole in your bucket and so on and so forth you continue. And the reason why this is all wholly relevant to us right now is that when you place your customers into your bucket, when they finally find you, all you're gonna do is look at the situation and think, oh, maybe I should quit my photography business because down the road they're doing really well. And actually, the issue isn't your photography, the problem is with your bucket. If you don't have a good bucket, if that bucket is not solid, then you will consistently be wasting your time doing any other marketing stuff because they're just gonna fall out the bottom, right? So the water in this analogy is essentially your customers. And if you pour water into a bucket that's got holes in it, then basically you're just wasting your time, money, and you might as well just kind of give up now. So the whole process of what you wanna look at doing in 2022 should be to make sure that your bucket is solid so that when the customers do get there, you're not gonna lose them at the bottom. Now, analogies aside, that is what Business Bootcamp Unit 1, 2, 3, and 4 do. If you're interested in looking at making sure your bucket is solid, go ahead and look at the link above. 
I'll just leave them sort of like swimming over there for a bit. Okay, so now that we understand the importance of a solid bucket, we can then look at all of the other tips to boost your business because hopefully you're not gonna lose them at the bottom. Now, tip number two, tip number two is really, really important. Stop looking at your business as you. Stop looking at your business as you entirely. Put yourself into the brain, the mind, the vision of your target market. And when you are there, look at your business. You should, hopefully, if you do this well and correctly, see big issues in different places. Maybe when a user first visits your website, it's not clear where to go next. Maybe when a user visits your website, it's not clear what you actually do or where you are. Make sure you've got a location on there and what you do. Make sure that it is clear easy to understand, concise, and not frustrating for a customer or a potential customer to find stuff. If it is, that's a massive hole in your bucket and you're gonna have to get that knife out again, okay? So make sure that you put yourself in the mind of your customer, look at your social media channels. Does that resonate with your target market? Who is your target market? If you don't know the answer to these questions, that is your point for number two. If you look at your portfolio and think that, what does this even mean? That's not even what this photographer is doing anymore. Then you've got a massive issue. You need to sort that out and make sure that what the client sees is what you see and it makes sense and is easy to understand. Tip number three is Google Maps. If you, as a small business that serves a location, do not have a location on Google Maps, then mate, that's a big hole in your bucket as well. I mean, what are we even doing in this day and age? Go to business.google.com and get yourself a location. Get yourself a location that puts a pin on you and your business. Make sure your listing is all beautifully done. Make sure you include relevant keywords there. Make sure you've got a Google Maps listing, super important. Tip number four, is it to make sure there are reviews on that Google Maps listing. If there aren't reviews on the Google Maps listing, then mm, it is still useful, but it's a lot less useful. So go ahead and speak to your past customers, ask them very, very nicely if they'd be kind enough to leave you a review on your Google Maps listing, and see if you can get them to be quite specific about what you did and what they received, okay? So you wanna get as many five-star reviews as is physically possible on that Google Maps listing. Okay, that's tip number three and four, kind of merge together there. Tip number five is all about community collaborations. So if you're uh, a photographer operating in a area and nobody knows who you are, then the chances are you've been really crummy at your community collaborations. So go and reach out. There'll be other businesses that service similar target markets be their best friend, go and offer to do something for them in return for something for you, start a transactional positive relationship with that individual, that business, that organization, that charity, and make sure that you make it something that you're gonna really look after. Think of it as a baby that you have to nurture all of the time. And when you nurture that, the community will start to see you as a positive person to be doing business with, and therefore you will get customers from that. So make sure that they're aligned target market wise, but community collaboration is something that you can set up right now in January to help your business this year, 110%. If you thought that these tips would be like, do this and you will succeed immediately, then you're wrong. Business doesn't work like that. Business is tough, so you've got to put the hours in. But if you put the hours in, then it will work okay. Make sure the bucket doesn't have holes in it. Tip number six is to sell smarter. Now, I've mentioned this before in other YouTube videos, so I'm not gonna go into it in too much detail, but basically, if you are a portrait photographer and your business model is to sell photographs after a session, after you've edited them, right, and you're using online galleries, then you are leaving a serious amount of cash on the table. Like, we're talking a large volume of money that is sat on the table, and it's not that you need to sell high, Harder, you just need to sell smarter. So I would recommend looking into the wondrous world that is in-person sales. You wanna do sales, but it doesn't need to be salesy. That's kind of the aim that you're going for here. You wanna help the customer get from A to buying stuff in the easiest, simplest, kindest, and most generous way possible so that they feel like they've got a awesome deal and had wonderful service all the way through. Yeah, that's unit four basically of Business Bootcamp. So if you wanna know more about that, look there. If not, look on YouTube for other free resources to help you sell smarter. 
Tip number seven is business from business. And what I mean by that basically is to stop thinking that your target market is just your target market and think outside of the box here. If you are a photographer, you have a skill that businesses want and need, but better yet, you also have a back catalog, a library, a gallery of images that would look awesome adorning the walls of your local business's offices. What about conference rooms with amazing pictures of dogs in? Well, this is what Michael Puck has spent his life organizing for us all. So if you're interested in how you can make money this year from a different income stream, that is selling your artwork to other businesses in your local area, not pet related at all, not photography related at all, just businesses in general, like doctors or lawyers or whatever, then go ahead and look at the link. I'll link it above to get some resources from Michael to help you get from A to B. Togs, by the way, you guys get extra stuff. Go and check out that post. It will have more information in it. Okay, so Michael has done all the work for us. We just need to absorb it and implement it. That is business booster number seven, and it's one that's definitely worth a look at. Thanks, Michael. You're a legend. Tip number eight is all about being socially specific. I've mentioned this before in our Instagram for photographers video on YouTube, but I need to mention it here because man, so many of you guys are targeting really odd situations with your social media posts. If you are a dog photographer and you want to get clients to buy from you, putting Hundelieber, which is dog love, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, as a hashtag in German on your English photography business's page is not going to result in getting clients, actually. It's really, really not. Neither is dog photography masters or any other specific dog photography community hashtag term. That's not gonna help you get your customers at all, literally not at all. N not at all, unless your customers are other photographers, in which case, continue onwards. You're doing exactly the right thing. So you wanna be really socially specific. When you're doing your posts, tag the location that you shot that in. Make sure that you're tagging regionally specific, locally specific, generally really kind of tight hashtag terms that are gonna be resonating with other individuals who are your target market. That's the important thing. So you need to know who they are, you need to know what hashtags they're gonna be looking at. You need to know where they're gonna be looking at stuff. And then you need to go there and actually do it, like do the work, okay? But be more socially specific if you wanna get business from that particular social channel, okay? That's like really important, real, real important. Tip number nine, which we're on right now, is to upskill yourself. People with better skills, more desirable skills, just generally awesomeness, get paid more money. So if you are struggling, then make your goal for 2022 to upskill yourself. I'm talking upskilling yourself in your editing, in your business, in your marketing. I'm talking upskilling yourself in terms of how you organize stuff, productivity. Like all of these things are skills that you can work on and improve. People who don't improve anything ever and just kind of stay at a constant plateau will never get anywhere, right? They're not gonna be going like this. They're just gonna be kind of like, eh, on the, kind of flat trajectory to nowhere. So upskill yourself, put the time in to make yourself a better version of you than you were this time last year. And in doing so, you will boost your business. I can almost 100% promise you of that. And tip number 10 kind of comes into that in terms of upskilling yourself. Just be original. Nobody is going to pay to have a second rate copy of someone else. Like seriously, you have no imagination if all you're going to do is just copy what someone else is doing, especially if that is a competitor within your niche. Locally, I'm being specific to like regions here. If you are a photographer and another photographer comes in and starts doing the exact same thing with really similar branding, it happens all of the time. Time. And not only is it infuriating and frustrating, I know guys, I know if you've been that, 
I know how it feels. Not only is it frustrating, but it also shows a real lack of business acumen from that individual because they're not able to think for themselves and develop their own little personality within the world. People want to know about you, what you have to bring to the table, what you are offering them. So give them what you think, not what someone else thinks, not what you think they want to hear. Give them what you think, how you see the world, because that's what they're coming to you for. So be original, create things that mean something to you personally. And at that point, your business will see success. So that is actually 10 tips to boost your business in 2022. They're all relatively straightforward. They're quite easy to implement. You just need to graft at it and get it done. If you struggle to set goals and achieve them, go ahead and watch a video that I released around this time last year, which will help you to achieve your goals in a really straightforward way that isn't overwhelming and terrifying because you know, we've all been there. I'm gonna stop waffling, babbling, whatever it is along now and put my knife away and sort out like my room. But I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, go ahead and drop what was most useful for you into the comments below, because I'd love to hear your thoughts. I'll see you all again really, really soon.